something I don't deal with very well in my own life. And I mean, I react to it negatively and people hear about it, um, is food policing. I'm not a big fan of being told you have to eat this, you can't eat that, or else everything will fall apart. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of trying to dance around and leave aside some of the moral and ethical positions that people feel very deeply about with regard to categories of food that we should be moving away from. I, I understand that part of the, the thing. I'm talking more about the, the part where it's framed as being for your own good, for your own health, because of somebody else, uh, somebody else's opinions uh, that may not have anything to do with your actual life or circumstances. So for example, obviously some people are just trolling when they do this. They're just having a bad day and they think that saying something critical or negative and trying to put somebody else down will make them feel better. Uh, that's their journey. We can't stop them. Uh, we can block them and refuse to engage. Um, but that's about it. I'm, I'm thinking more of the people who are talking in the sincere belief that they're doing something useful. And one way that this can happen is people are talking about their own learning experience and their own preferences and unable to frame for themselves the idea that we may all vary about this. So for example, I could tell you which brands of candy you need to avoid completely. But if I did that, I'd be telling you about the ones that I struggle with, right? I could tell you Sour Patch Kids are to be avoided at all costs. And I wouldn't just be talking about, oh, they're very sugary, oh, they've got bad stuff in them. I'd be talking about, I struggle not to overeat them when I let myself have them. I'm the kind of person whose mouth will start to pucker and feel painful. And I'm still trying to eat the rest of the Sour Patch Kids and clean up the whole bag because I have trouble stopping when I start. Then there's a friend of mine who's known me for over 25 years, who is still mystified by the fact that I don't like eating celery. And even now she will occasionally say, but, but beet, it's so good for you. It's so healthy for you. It's got all this fiber. You could put, you could put peanut butter on it. You could put, you know, cheese on it. It's blah, 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 blah. I just don't like celery. I never have. Uh, cooked and soft, sure. But just like chewing on it, ugh. A and it's, 25 years ago, she was recommending celery to me because she knew that my diet wasn't great in general. And she probably noticed that I wasn't getting a lot of fiber and had concerns for me. But these days, uh, that's not the case. And she knows um, how much good food that nobody could quibble with. I eat, you know, lots of whole vegetables and, you know, fresh this and fresh that. But she's still confused by why, with all of that change in my life for the better, I haven't embraced celery. It's because she loves celery and she's so passionate about the good that it does for her that she thinks everyone needs to know this. Right. But I, I know about celery and I've tried celery and I don't like celery. And uh, there are other things in my life that I used to not like. And now I eat them because I understood that as I grew older or wiser, my tastes might change. And so I tried them periodically over the years and oh, okay, now I'm okay with this. Celery has not made that list yet. And if it does next year, it's not gonna be because she recommends it to me. In general, I, I feel like this is a good model for how these things work. Uh, we can make observations and suggestions, but I think food policing, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Uh, maybe it works for some people. I, I find that in general, a lot of us resent it and uh, we're probably correct to, at least for ourselves. If you're the kind of person who gets food policed, uh, you have my permission not to listen. And if you're the kind of person who food polices others, uh, consider whether or not it's actually having the effects you want. There's a good chance it isn't and that people are just politely not telling you to butt out.